Immune Cells' Role in Vaccine Development for Skin and Mucosa Globally, many infections, including Zika, Dengue, Mpox, HSV, and HIV, enter through the skin and mucosa, with vaccines being the best defense. Effective vaccine design requires understanding immune cell interactions in these tissues. Researchers at the Westmead Institute for Medical Research, led by Professor Andrew Harmon, have advanced this understanding, studying immune cells in the stratified squamous epithelium. Their findings, published in leading journals, promise to revolutionize mucosal vaccine development. The SSE, the outer layer of skin and mucosal tissues, is a vital barrier against pathogens. While Langerhans cells were once thought to be the sole antigen-presenting cells in the SSE, recent research identifies dendritic cells as key players. Professor Harmon emphasized the distinct roles of LCs and DCs in pathogen uptake and immune activation, crucial for developing targeted vaccines. The study reveals functional differences, showing DCs as more effective in certain immune responses, though their role in neuroimmune interactions requires further exploration. These findings are vital for mucosal vaccines targeting pathogen entry points like the genital and respiratory tracts, critical for combating STIs and viruses such as Mpox, HSV, and HIV. Research has evolved from focusing on LCs to recognizing epithelial DCs in the SSE, broadening our understanding of immune defense. Professor Harmon highlighted that leveraging DCs in the SSE could lead to more effective, targeted vaccines, eliciting robust local immune responses at infection sites. The study also explores neuroimmune interactions in the SSE, revealing how nerve endings influence immune responses. Associate Professor Austin noted that these bi-directional interactions are a new frontier in vaccinology, 